I was just really just acting on uh, uh, passion and the fact that we all get along real good, okay? But eventually, okay, our breakthrough slash payday is going to have to come. But the idea was was to create venues for ourselves, okay? Now, we've been bandying about an idea where we were going to try to just set up one venue, like we can host a show like once a month. Not like the, like the, the, the things that we do as far as going to people's houses and stuff like that, but actually find a real stage, okay, and once a month, okay, actually just have a venue, have that place sponsor us, just us, okay? So we not feature nobody but just us, okay? So uh, Tiffany and I, you know, because Tiffany's going to fill in too, we, uh, we met with uh, Blair, mm -hmm. Blair at uh, Crowfoot, had a nice little spot where we could do a venue at, and the idea was, was so that everybody, okay, gets an opportunity to perform, because that's the one thing we have that's good about this kind of uh, format that we're running. Because one month, you know, you could be hosting, and then we can have, you know, three, four, you got to do whatever, bring our dancers, bring whatever, right? Then the next month, whole new set of faces. Christina mm -hmm. could be doing something. I mean, that's what makes us fresh and kind of exciting in that sense. So that, you know, uh, and I let Tiffany feel in a little bit more on that, but that was the first idea that came to the table for those of you that weren't here to catch that. And it looked like it's, it's moving along pretty good, okay? So we're working on that because that way everybody gets a chance, okay, to kind of be a part of what we do. So we're still going to be doing the stuff at the cribs and the parties and the corporate and things like that, the churches and things like that. So still, you know, continue if you can just book or whatever the case is, focus on those. But we also want to generate a buzz, okay, with that one venue a month at that one particular spot. Y'all following me on that? Yes. Okay. Um, two, I don't know how much y'all listen to the radio or not, but there's a radio personality that's kind of local. And her name is uh, Fantasy Blue. Okay. From yeah, she's from Pontiac, exactly. Okay, I grew, I knew her from, you know, way back when. Okay, and uh, she was hosting a, a date night, which, yeah, you won, which you won that, right? <laughs> Uh, uh, at uh, at Four Brothers. You did. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. He just met her. You know. Huh? Okay. So anyway, uh, just real quick about that. Now she has, she has. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We we about business right now. Come on, come on. Okay. Now she, like I said, she's a radio personality and just basically just uh, she wants to see what we do. Okay. So, you know, we met her twice, uh, or we talked with her twice already. She said we can pretty much just kind of advertise on her Facebook and Twitter account, okay, so she's going to give us a form for that. Tiffany's going to follow up with her as well, okay, and like I said, plus because I know her, okay, that kind of gives us a little foothold and things like that, you know, to try to uh, generate more buzz, because that's what we need. We need somebody on that kind of a scale to really start recognizing what we do. So, I mean, she, I've heard her do everything from from the Kim concert downtown to Kroger's, you name it, she's pretty much done it, okay? She used to work at NBC, I think, too, uh, years ago. So she has kind of network plugs and connections like that. That's the kind of people we need right about now, okay? Um, and then, uh, see, the venue, um, what else was going to cover? Uh, I'm going to cover, you asked me to do the uh, Jay and Silent Bob, and then how Pink Awareness went that way. Okay, yeah, so at that point, I'm going to let Tiffany uh, okay. pick it up from here. But I just wanted to put those things out. But to re-echo something before she comes up, okay, before she comes up, I just want to echo again, y'all, that this right now, this is this is what you call a, a from, now this is just my, I'm going to keep it in the realm of opinion to be fair, okay? This is what I call a watershed moment, okay? I mean, we either going to do this for the long haul, we're going to see how far it goes, okay, or we just going to, you know what I mean? And me personally, I like everybody that we have. I mean, we have a unique blend of personalities and talent, okay? And I myself, like I said, I gave Tiffany my word years ago that whatever she comes up with, I'm there to the bitter end, okay? So she knows I'm here, okay? Now, we all got our different lives and things like that, and we're not saying, you know, give up your life. We're not saying that. But let's just take this vision, and let's just see how far it can go, okay? Because, I mean, I'm just somebody. I was telling the guy at work, and I'll shut up after I say this. When it comes to opportunity, I just believe that there's only two types of people in the world. I think there's people that, you know, basically they, they're like opportunities within reach, okay? And I think that there's people that opportunity will see, okay? So it's just a matter of just being able to discern which one you're going to be. Now, the people that's reaching out to opportunity, there's nothing for that. That means you're working hard, you're doing your thing, and maybe the, 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 the end goal is in sight. But at the same time, on the other end of the spectrum, you're somebody that you're preparing yourself, you're dressing yourself. And then when opportunity comes, you walk in that thing like it's not even brand new because, you, you know, it sees you and you're just ready for it, okay? Love it. So we basically at this point need to determine what we're going to be, okay? So I'm just asking because, once again, I like everything that we have here because right? it's not only unique, but think about just this practice, what we just saw with just chemistry, putting people together. I mean, the potential is not limited. 
So basically at this point, it's just a matter of can we decide which ones we're going to be. Are we going to seize the moment or let the moment seize us? There's nothing wrong with either one, but just figuring out which one we're going to be so we can just be ready. So with that, we'll go ahead and turn it over to Tiffany. Okay. Um, first of all, I want to commend you guys on uh, your growth. I've seen some major growth here, and it's amazing how we can put people together for the first time. You guys have some bad chemistry. So that's probably going to take a long time to build that, as you guys know, you know, for the ones who've been here for a, a, quite a few years. So with that being said, you know, let's just do real quick a quick vote on um, who's ready to uh, flip-flop team and do things like that. Who's open to that? Let me see by show of hands. Who is open to do some flip flop and one team? Okay. So, okay. So I say that to say because people trickle in at different times, and I know we've already made mention uh, on the, the late problem that we were having, but we know that people have different reasons why they're late and different things that's going on. But what we can do is if we have a guy and a girl that's here, and we'll talk about it and yeah. everything and see how we can work it out. But we can go ahead and get them started like we did you guys today. That worked out really good. <coughs> so um, you were here on time and everything. And uh, you should all, oh, they have some very good work. It was amazing. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Y'all gonna stop moving about this. <laughs> okay. Now, um, wow, I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, I loved it. So it's almost like you guys, almost to a degree have an opportunity to say when you can go in a lineup for a second and third almost so we'll we'll talk more about it and see what works but as a group collectively you guys need to realize too that this is ground floor so we're working a lot of things out things that work things that don't work we thought with the groups you know what works was trying to keep people in the same area but at the same time have enough balanced talent on there, whereas you don't feel, well, my team is never going to get number one, or this is never going to happen, or that's never going to happen. So we try to do that, and if we need to restructure something, we will, because this is the ground floor of things. You guys need to still remember that Michigan is where it started, but we're going to start outsourcing. We're going to start going into other states and teaching them our same structure. We're going to have to have different people taking over different areas. We said this from the start. And for those who didn't really see the vision, I believe now you'll start to see it a bit more because we are getting a bit more funding coming in. But at the same time, it's not enough to, per se, pay people just yet because we feel getting things that we need for ground floor, floor like backdrops and bumper stickers and things. Right now, we're branding. And on top of our branding, we're making sure we got gas. Like, for Toledo show, we only getting, and I can't really, I can whisper it on camera, we only getting 150 for those shows, and what that's going to basically cover is probably some pizza and some gas getting there. So it's not going to cover people, but he knows that he has to help market us. He's a well-known comedian, and what you can start doing with these shows is research these people that we have shows with. His name is Cool Key out of Toledo, been on BET and everything. So yeah, yeah. So you probably seen him hilarious, hilarious, but he's booking us to be his headline for two times. Um, the other day, I had to look at the contract and see, but the first date is May um, 10th, and the next day, I want to say it's like June 21st, it's not an overnight trip. This is the trip that we leave at 6 o'clock, we get back probably at, it's probably going to be like 12 or 12.30, something like that, that we do in Toledo. I thought that was May. That's in May. Uh -huh. May 10th. May 10th and like June 21st. Two of them. It's two of them. So whoever signs up, that's who's going to be on the show. Okay? And then we just going to carpool. I'm probably just going to drive my van down there. So that's how that one looks. Jay and Sighted Bob, we got free tickets from Blair for that one. I text everybody. They're well known comedians too. They had about 1,500 people out at the rest of the theater. We got free tickets for that. So, and you know, quite a few of us came out, and it was really last minute, but that's one of those shows that Blair said he can put us on shows like that. So I just got to communicate.